Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Adafruit vase amount for Raspberry Pis. Um, couldn't find any documentation for this whatsoever, so I uh, figured that I would save you guys some headaches as I experienced them myself. So um, with that, uh, you'll need to have a few tools, a um, couple screwdrivers or a socket driver, um, some needle nose pliers, and something that's really thin, like a paint scraper or something that you can use to get the coating off. Um, and of course, a Raspberry Pi. So uh, with that, uh, let's get right into it. All right, so right out of the bag, there's a few things that you should have. Um, four of the base amount screws. Uh, those are gonna be the very last thing that you use here. Um, four of these screws that have the wider threads, uh, wide spacing between the threads, that's gonna go in conjunction with these four plastic connectors. Um, these three plastic pipes, three screws, and then three nuts for those screws as well. In this case, they actually gave me an extra, uh, so that, that'll be nice. Um, and also these rubber feet to prevent the mount from scratching up your monitor, um, as well as the two pieces of the mount itself. Um, the two plastic pieces are actually coated in this paper stuff. If you want, you can leave it on. I like to take it off for cosmetic reasons. So that's where this little paint scraper comes in handy. I just start at one corner. Just try and scrape a little bit off. And then from there, you should be able to peel it the rest of the way. Okay, now with your two pieces, um, next step is going to be these plastic tabs. Now these are kind of a pain to get mounted. Um, the approach I like to take uses some needle nose pliers and a screwdriver. So you'll want to make sure that these lines on the plastic tabs are parallel with the lines that are etched onto the board. Um, that is what actually keeps the pie in place. Um, so that's probably the toughest part here is making sure that we get those nice and parallel. So with that, I usually just like to place it stable on one side, put the screw into my screwdriver, slide it through a bit, and just try and get it started. This is where having three hands comes in handy. And then take your needle nose pliers, holding the plastic tab firmly in place, and screwing that in nice and tight. From there, you can manually adjust it so it's nice and parallel. Okay, so yeah, you'll want to make sure that you have the Raspberry Pi set up the right way so that you're not doing it on the wrong side or upside down or backwards. Just follow the etching to make sure that all your ports are lining up how they should be. Otherwise, it's going to be mounted a little wonky and yeah, I've made that mistake twice now in my assemblies, so pretty common. But yeah, once again, just get started with the plastic tab and the screw on one side.
Okay. Now you can secure your pie by turning your posts into the board. Don't tighten it too much. You don't want to crack the PCB. At that point, you should now have it mounted. Next up are going to be these three plastic posts for the top piece. The way you'll want to have this arranged is so your expansion port is going to be openly accessible. So look for this side with the cutout to go over those pins. Now the way this is going to work is the screws are going to come from the bottom up. Otherwise, it's going to hit the back of the monitor when you try to mount it. So, what you do, put your screw in that way, cover it with one of the posts, and slip it on top. Now, use one of the nuts, and tighten that into place. Now you'll want to go ahead and secure it, so with your socket driver or if you have a, a bit driver with no bit, it should be sufficient. Just hold the nut in place. You can also use your uh, needle nose for this, but I find this to be much easier. And just make sure they're nice and secure. You don't want to do it too tight and potentially crack your plexiglass. point the top cover is now in place. Um, last step before we mount it is to put the rubber feet on. This will help prevent the screws on the back from scratching up the back of your monitor or TV or whatever you're using it for. So I like to place these between the two screws on the ends. We've got some pretty equal spacing and should have a nice amount of space between the tops of the screws and the rubber feet, just so those are going to be the points of impact. Now, how you mount this to your monitor is entirely up to you. you can, there's basically two ways that you can do it. Um, personally, I like to have the HDMI on the bottom uh, just because I don't really utilize any of the ports on the top for the time being. So go ahead and just take your VESA screw and put it straight in. I like to do opposing corners that way it's not going to be unbalanced when you go to screw it in. And you don't need to do it too tight. Um, the plexiglass does have some flex to it, uh, but I would recommend just making sure that it's secured and not going to move anywhere. You don't need to put them all the way down. And there you go. You now have computer mounted directly to your monitor. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully it helps uh, save you some headache. Um, I know I've had quite a bit myself, so. Um, but once you do get it all done, it's definitely worth it. I mean, having a full-fledged computer for, you know, $60, give or take, 35 for the Pi itself, about 10 for the case, your USB power supply, HDMI to DVI, and an SD card, um, yeah, about 55 to 60 dollars depending, but um, most certainly beats out paying, uh, in, in our case, about 300 dollars per thin client. So um, hopefully, uh, yeah, you guys enjoy this and uh, spread the knowledge.